Okay, number 12. Bit unusual seeing a circle question on a non-calculator paper, but if we look, we've got to give our answer in terms of pi. So that means we're going to do the calculations as we would do normally, but we won't be able to work out like a final decimal answer. So, first of all, what do we know? Well, we know the area of a circle is pi r squared, so pi times the radius squared. In this question we can see the radius is 6, so we can replace r squared with pi times 6 squared, and we can work out that 6 squared is 36, so we can write that as pi times 36, or it's more usual to write it like that, 36 pi. We can also work out the area of the square because it's 12 by 12, so 144. Now if we have a look at this problem again, we've got just a quarter of this. So it's not the shaded area that's missing, it's a quarter of that. So what I'm going to need to do is quarter each of my answers. So for the circle, I'm going to have... 36 pi divided by 4, well 36 divided by 4, let's actually make sure you can see that. So 36 divided by 4 is 9, so that would be 9 pi. And then for the square, it will be 144 divided by 4. So half it, half it again. So half of 144 is going to be 72. Half that again, that's going to be, well half of 70 is 35. Half of 2 is 1, so it's going to be 36. And finally, the calculation we do to work out that shaded bit, so this shaded bit here, is we do the area of the square bit, so that's 36, and then we would subtract the circle bit, the 9 pi. And that's our final answer, we can't do anything else with that. So, what I've kind of done here, if you look at the diagram, is I've worked out that the whole circle is. 36 pi, so a quarter of the circle will be 9 pi. Similarly, if you think about the entire square behind it, the whole square would be 144, so a quarter of that square, so that all of that there, will be 36. So then if I'm looking to find the difference between the two, I'd be taking the area of the circular bit here away from the area of the square.